Hello everyone! My name is Mimi and welcome to my home-based story kung saan lagi tayong nagsishare ng mga bagong videos regarding work from home. Kaya naman kung bago kayo sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. So, ang topic natin today guys is kung paano kumita by correcting mistakes online. So, hindi ito yung mga maling desisyon nyo sa buhay ha. Ito yung grammar mistakes online na ginagawa ng isang proofreader. Ayan. Pwede nyo itong gawin kahit nasan kayo sa mundo, okay? It can be done from anywhere in the world. Um, mataas kasi ngayon ang demand, guys, for proofreading because dumadami na din yung digital content like website, blogs, ebook, and marami pang iba. Ayan. So guys, stay with me until the end of our video para malaman nyo kung ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng isang proofreader? Saan kayo pwedeng matutong maging isang proofreader? Magkano ang pwede niyong sweldohin? At kung saan kayo pwedeng mag-apply ng trabaho bilang isang proofreader? Kung bago pa lang kayo guys sa work from home and you're looking to start an online career in the creatives like graphic design or create powerful visuals like in social media marketing, you should check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. I have been with them for over a year now and Skillshare is my go-to when it comes to freelancing classes. I especially like this class about freelancing for creatives where they share the whole process from setting expectations, building portfolios, pricing your work, and even managing your cash flow. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is only less than $10 per month. And the good news for you guys is you can get two months free of premium membership by just clicking on the link down below in the description box and pinned comment. So make sure you explore new skills, deepen your passions, and explore your creativity with Skillshare's online classes. What you find may just surprise and inspire you. Okay, so balik tayo guys sa topic natin, which is proofreading. Ano nga ba yung proofreading? So para pa simplihin natin siya, ito yung final step guys ng editing process ng isang written content kung saan i-correct nyo yung mga mali dun sa paragraph or dun sa buong written content like um, capitalization, punctuation, grammar, sentence structure. Ayan. So, ilan lang yan dun sa mga i-check nyo sa pag-edit or pag-proofread. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. And usually, ito yung mga content na kailangan ng proofreading. So, we have blogs, websites, ebooks or novels, cookbooks, Newsletter, di ba marami niyan yung mga email newsletter? Yung mga online marketing materials like yung mga advertisements, yung mga flyers, brochures. So kasama na din dyan, guys yung social media posts, um, essays, research papers, and of course yung ginagamit din natin sa pag apply which is yung resumes and cover letters. So hindi limited doon yung mga content na usually kailangan ng proofread. Pero, kadalasan, pag online, yun sila. So, magkano nga ba ang sinesweldo, guys, ng isang proofreader? Based sa research and based sa website na Indeed.com kung saan they ask 24 different employers on their offer for proofreaders here sa Pilipinas, it's averaging to 17,281 pesos monthly. So, pwedeng tumaas, especially if kapag international yung client niyo or direct to client yung makukuha yung content or pwede ding mas mababa if local or maikli lang yung content na makukuha nyo. And pwede guys dito ang part-time, pwede nyo rin tong gawing full-time. Depende rin again sa marketplace na sasalihan nyo, i-share ko yan sa inyo later. So, depende doon kung paano yung magiging schedule ninyo. Kung part-time kayo, usually naman freelance yan. Nasa inyo kung anong oras kayo or anong oras nyo gustong magtrabaho. Okay, so guys, para naman doon sa mga wala pang experience or idea sa proofreading and mas komportable kayo kung mag-aaral mag muna kayo. So, of course, you can check out Skillshare. And meron ako nakita na free 
workshop online, ilalagay ko na lang siya guys sa link sa description box ulit. Okay? So, make sure you check that out. So, ito na guys. I'm sure iniintay nyo to. Saan kayo pwede mag-apply as a proofreader? Okay, so I will share here 16 websites na kinategorize ko sa tatlo, which is beginner intermediate, and then we have the intermediate and yung expert. Para depende sa level of expertise ninyo, is mapili nyo kung saan kayo pwede mag-apply. Okay, ishishare ko yung links dito and ishishare ko rin yan sa ating Facebook and Instagram page. So, sana ma-follow nyo din para ma-check nyo yung links. Okay guys, so unahin na natin si beginner to intermediate. So dito, ibig sabihin, meron kayong basic skills and meron kayong good eye for correcting mistakes. So open to guys for high school or college graduates. So you have Lionbridge, ProofreadingServices.com, Domain Night, and Gramly. And then, ang next level of competency naman natin is yung intermediate. Pag sinabing intermediate, kailangan meron kayong college degree. And kailangan meron kayong previous experience in proofreading or do sa mga related na trabaho, kagaya ng transcribing, translations, content writing, and yung mga same doon. You have their Kirkus Media, Polish Paper, Edit Fast, E-Correctors, Scribber, Word Vice and Cactus. And ang third naman is yung expert. Para to guys, dun sa mga bihasa na, okay, yung may mga at least 3 to 5 years of working as a proofreader, either in an office setup or online. And syempre, kailangan may college degree din kayo to back it up. Ayan, so ilan sa mga website na to, is Proofreading Pal, Proofread Now, Words Are You, Scribendi, and Manage Editing. So, yung ilan sa mga yan would require you to submit a sample of your previous work. Okay? Kaya, syempre, expert na siya. Diba? Lahat ng mga website na yan, iba-iba yung requirements nila. So, hindi ko na sila maiisa-isa. I-check out nyo na lang. Ibinigay ko naman yung link sa inyo. Pero, karamihan sa kanila, ang payout is through PayPal. Ayan. So, since hindi naman ako nag-work para sa mga company na yan, guys, I strongly urge that you also do your own research bago kayo mag-apply or bago kayo pumasok sa isang online job. And of course, guys, bukod dun sa mga websites na minention ko, uh, pwede nyo rin, of course, i-market yung proofreading services nyo sa mga freelancing websites like, let's say, Fiber or Upwork or even Facebook groups, okay? So, speaking of Facebook group, guys, I hope you can check out our Facebook our page Facebook group, which is the Online Freelancer Squad. Ayan. Diyan ko pinopost yung mga random na nakikita ko sa Facebook when I'm browsing, kung meron mga available job openings. And of course, the members are also interacting with each other and sharing yung mga nakikita na rin nila na job opening. So, sana sumali kayo. And I think that's it, guys, for proofreading. Um, if you find na hindi suwak sa inyo ang proofreading. Of course, napakarami pa rin online jobs na pwede nyong itry pag applyan And karamihan dyan ay shinare na natin sa ating channel, kagaya ng mga transcription website. So, I created a separate playlist for that, yung ating non-voice online jobs. Sana ma-check nyo din. And bukod doon, you can also try blogging or online content writing. Ayan. So guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you again on our next video. Bye! ...ng video na to, pero sana hindi naman ganun kagulo. Ayan. So pag-usapan natin guys yung specs. Kung maghahanap kayo ng computer and magsastart pa lang kayo mag-home base, hindi naman kailangan ganito talaga yung setup nyo. Um, when I started, actually wala tong lamesa na to, wala tong upuan na to. I was just on the table. Tapos yung gamit ko na yung dating laptop na nung asawa ko. And yun lang. Tsaka yung mouse. Yung wired mouse.
you are interested in working from home, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell button so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video.